Hey YouTube, this is um, Tony Scare 364 and I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung Gravity Touch. And this is my first phone, and my first phone review, so it probably won't be too good. But, yeah. I'm just going to open up the box. So, yeah, you got the phone here. And I'll put that aside and we'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so here's the box. And in it comes a little plastic bag with a headset and a little button that you use to answer it calls and stuff and they're just normal earphones yeah and it's kind of a funny like thing that you use to plug into the phone then you have the travel charger then just a manual and it says just kind of the basic stuff about the phone safety and warranty guide so I'm going to put that back and get to the phone. Right, so here's the phone. It's got a 2.8 inch touch screen. And this is from Sastel, by the way. Like most of you watching this won't, probably won't have a Sastel phone. Because it's just in Saskatchewan. And yeah. But um... Yeah, it's 2.8 touch screen with, and at the bottom you just got menu, call, or answer, and end call buttons. And on the back you've got 2 megapixel camera and speakers. And the back that, it's got kind of a weird design on the back. It just says Samsung down there. And it, it kind of, yeah, it gets kind of dirty with fingerprints pretty fast. Then on the side of the phone, you've got your, um, micro USB port right in there. You have your lock and unlock button. And a camera button right there. Then on the other side, it's just you've got the volume rockers. Then on the bottom, you have a mic right there. And just this little tab to pop off the back cover. Oops. And if I'm just going to pop off the back cover for you and show what's underneath. Okay, so you've got your battery and yeah you can see there's the camera and the speakers and everything. It's got the micro SD slot. It doesn't have a micro SD card in it right now. But yeah, that's for expandable memory. And it sucks because it's kind of on the side, but it's underneath the battery case. Then if you take off the battery, you have a spot for SIM card right there. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for underneath there. Now I'm going to power up the phone. Okay, so
And this phone it has three home screens. So, and they're all customizable. And it has this little tab on the side that you can add stuff like Facebook, email, calendar, uh, Bluetooth, v uh, memos, calculator, and stuff like that. That has the dialer. It's just a normal dialer with like transfer call button, send message, phone, or back. And yeah, then messages. And it has create message, message inbox, voicemail, exchange email, sent box, drafts, folders, templates, and a bunch of other stuff, message settings, and delete by folder, and memory status. Then you, it has a web browser. Has a full HTML web browser. Yeah, it loads up and it just has the Sastel homepage first off. And that's it for the homepage. Then it has, if you click on the little menu button, on the menu it has things like web, messaging, exchange email, self-serve, um, Facebook, YouTube, Bluetooth, MySpace, calls, settings, and apps, and stuff like that. Then it has the dialer, contacts, messages, and back button at the bottom. And on the second menu, it's multimedia with TV and radio, music player, my downloads, videos, photos, camera, voice recorder, voice recognition, and voice list. And if you look at the bottom, the bottom, the bottom bar never changes. Like, if you switch to the other screen, it stays dialer, contacts, messages, and back button. Then for tools, it has alarm, calculator, timer, world clock, converter, stopwatch, tasks, calendar, and memo. And that's for the menu. And it's not a very responsive touch. Like, you have to press down a bit more. Uh, and yeah, it has slide-out keyboard for messaging, and with dedicated arrow keys, uh, dedicated www dot and dot com button, and, like, if you can see, the, the keys aren't raised at all from the keyboard, they're just kind of flat. And when you open the keyboard, it flips the phone's, like, welcome screen to the side. And in a bit, I'll probably make a review for this phone, too. But yeah, that's pretty much it.